It was about two hours to get to the gorilla spot. We moved with them a lot and we got to see, I think six in total. There were two babies, two mothers, and we saw the silverback. Six thirty wake up call this morning, which is later than it's been, uh, which is great. But today is the basically entire reason we came to Uganda. We are going gorilla trekking, and we are so excited. So now we're going to grab a quick breakfast and then head up to the gate. It's about ten minutes away to the windy and penetrable Forest National Park, where the gorillas are home to. And from there, we should get our briefing and be on our way. are just gathering all of our stuff to begin our gorilla trek this morning the entire reason we came to Uganda so we're getting our bug spray on getting our lunches packed we just met our guide and got divided up into our groups and we are excited for a good hike today hopefully to see some of the mountain gorillas here in Uganda here at the center they have this awesome map that shows where all of the gorilla families have been recently and our family is a little bit newer so it's actually not on the map but they said uh, we were probably like around in here maybe we'll see and we're staying or we're entering the park from the Buhoma gate there are four gates four main gates where you can go and visit the gorillas here in Bundy National Park and so Buhoma uh, is where we're headed and going in now so we're staying here outside the Bahama Gate, but when you're buying your permit, just make sure you designate which gate you're gonna be staying near, or when you get your permit, make sure you book your housing and stay near the gate where you're gonna be going in. We are out here tracking the Muyambi family. And the Muyambi family was started by a male girl at Silverback who broke off from another family and recruited females to start his own family, which is one of the things they do apparently. They learned from podcasts. And now they have eight members of their family. Uh, I think just one male and the rest female. We're gonna find out. We have eight people in our group, the tourists, and we have three rangers and several porters. We also have a student with us who's learning process so they can do this one day. How many people is that? <laughs> minutes to three hours apparently to get to the gorillas. I'm thinking we might be somewhere in the middle of that but yeah it's a nice weather not walking too fast not too bad so far. You can also hire porters to walk with you and they will carry your bags for you and our guide said they also will push and pull you up the mountain. We've seen some that have been making uh, little palm fronds and fanning their guests so super helpful and it's great because you support the local community so even if you don't need your backpack carried we recommend getting one so you can have someone supporting you and you can support them I keep joking that Kyle's been my porter on this trip because he's carrying everything for me <laughs> what a good husband So there are rangers that are tracking the gorillas ahead of us and they kind of stay with them at night and similar to when we were with the chimps the guy that we're with has a call that he makes and then he listens for the ranger to call back to help them find it because the forest is super dense sounds like we're getting closer most of the hike is along the main trail but 
You get closer to the gorilla as you go off trail. And you follow the little path that they've made. So now we're off trail. They're just down up ahead. here that have been tracking them and helping us navigate where they're moving. So we're just kind of changing directions as the grill has changed directions, listening to where they tell us to go. Gorilla fact number one, and maybe the most important, is that gorillas are not monkeys. Gorillas are apes. And you can tell the difference because Monkeys have tails, long tails, and gorillas, chimps, or apes do not. Much of the information we know about gorillas comes from Diane Fossey. Uh, Fossey is the gorilla counterpart to Jane Goodall, who's well known and known for the chimps compared to the gorillas. vegetation is just super super thick so we're getting really close encounters but they're very quick as they keep moving through and you kind of see their head but it looks like there's a mom and a baby that we're primarily following around right now. Much like us humans the babies are all about playing when the mom and dad are either tired or hungry and trying to chill the babies are climbing on their face and running around everywhere. Um, Leambi is the name of the silverback, and that means helpful. There can be more than one male in a family, so they either choose to stay, be like second or third, or they can leave and try and start their own family. And they go around and try and take the female gorillas from other groups to join them. So the one we found is the one that broke off. That was exactly the experience I think we were hoping for. It was about two hours to get to the gorilla spot. We moved with them a lot and we got to see I think six in total. There were two babies, two mothers, and we saw the silverback, which they didn't think we'd be able to see at the beginning. Now we are trekking back out, carving our way again through the forest here. As we're tracking these gorillas, the guides just have their machetes, the rangers, and they're just hacking their way through. I mean, it's so, so thick here in the forest. I can see why they call it the windy, impenetrable forest, because hard to move through. There are a few different types of gorillas, but today we were trekking the mountain gorillas, which I believe are the most in danger. There's only about a thousand right now. So it felt really special to be able to come out here and support the conservation fund and get to see them and spend time with them. And Rebecca mentioned how endangered they are and the mountain gorillas actually don't exist in zoos. So the gorillas that you see I believe are lowland gorillas in most zoos. So these cannot be found anywhere other than this central and east Africa where we are here in Uganda and Rwanda and the Congo. Sideways. <laughs> My shoes are not very good. <laughs> yeah, they're super. Yeah. And that's why you wear boots. <laughs> they're very flat on the bottom. Kyle's fallen yeah, like three times. Yeah. <laughs> I can see you are still young. You run and come back. Okay. <laughs> We 
just wrapped up our trek. I think all in all it ended up being six hours. Six hour hike. So we had two and a half hours in, two and a half hours out, about an hour with the gorillas. What an incredible experience. That I think was like everything that we expected from the experience and totally lived up. I mean, for us, you know, it's probably a once in a lifetime experience to get that close and have that sort of experience with the gorillas. And it was just incredible. I absolutely loved watching the two little infants play with each other. It was so cute. They were just rolling around and the parents were just trying to eat and, and the kids were just being goofy. <laughs> Walking through the forest too was amazing to view and see all the plants and hiking straight up into the mountain and then really feeling like you were sort of in their space when we got there. I mean, there were points when the rangers were just pulling us along saying, follow me, and you're just stepping through vines and your feet are sinking down in and you have no idea what's going on. You're just trying to keep up with the ranger and they're trying to hack away some of the bamboo out for you, but really you're you're in it. You're kind of in the jungle. and. It's cool too that there are so many options. So there are families that are right outside the, the center. So you can, it's kind of accessible for everyone, which I think is really cool. We liked the hike though, obviously. So glad we got to do a longer one. And that is gonna wrap up our time here in Bwindi. And this is one of our last events in Uganda. Next, we're moving on towards uh, the airport, unfortunately, but we're stopping in Lake Muburu, which is halfway between here and Entebbe, to have one last safari opportunity before we close out our trip to Uganda. Getting to check off another animal in our Wildlife of East Africa book. And I'm excited about this one because it's the whole reason we came to Uganda. Yay! And we've been writing use under all of them so we can reuse it in the future for other safaris in East Africa. You for Uganda.